I'm sure that you've come up with the perfect solution, Miss Spectrum. I imagine it includes you and your daughter. Am I correct? What it includes is an opportunity to raise a lot of money for the children's hospital, Stephanie. Why don't you just listen to my idea before you judge it or me, huh? Fine. There's something going on in this country, Stephanie. It's a hot trend. It's in this country, it's in Europe, it's in the Far East, it's even in the Philippines. I'm sure you're aware of it. It's been in all the press, it's been in the trade papers, all over the media, the news magazines. It's a kind of love affair between the rest of the world and this particular little corner of the globe. Yes, everyone is in love with Southern California. I am aware of that. Yeah. But there's something really more important than that. It's a hot trend. You see it everywhere. You see it in the best restaurants in New York City. You see it in the best boutiques all over Europe. You even see it in the discount houses. Everybody's in love with the California look. We are hot. We are in. And what is your point, Miss Petra? My point is that for this year's fundraising, we stage a fashion show, unlike any other fashion show ever seen. Hmm? We feature not one top California designer, but every top California designer, and all of them telling us what we're going to be wearing for the holiday season. Think about it. It could be wonderful. The whole world in love with California, being given an opportunity to see in one showing everything that California has to offer for the holiday season. A premiere. Absolutely. The first time these clothes are ever going to be seen in public. <laughs> Can you imagine the press on this? It'll be phenomenal. It'll be an international press. It'll be wonderful. And the scramble for tickets. The sky's the limit. We can charge whatever we want for those tickets. We might even be able to cut a deal with a cable company and have the whole thing shown on pay TV for even more revenue. Now, we're talking money here, Stephanie. We're talking big money, a lot of money for the children. And what do you expect from this, Miss Spectra? Me? Yes. What do you expect to gain from this? I expect to come up with an idea for a fundraiser that makes a whole lot of money for a lot of poor, sick children. That's what I hope to gain from this. Think about it. You know, I think it would be a wonderful idea if you and your husband became the official spokespersons for this? We'll talk later. That's a good idea. But what is it that you want to gain? I'll have to find that out. Why? men on Cocoa Beach this winter. Mm -hmm. Fawn, how's the fit? Fits like a glove. Would you wear it? Uh, in San Juan. Well, how about the states? If you did, I'd have to post bail. <laughs> Hello, mother. <laughs> Ladies, you look beautiful. Thank Those you. bathing suits are gorgeous, but I don't know why you bothered to put them on. There's hardly anything there at all. Well, in France, they won't. We'll just sell the bottles. <laughs> very good. Fawn, Holly Blaine, thank you. It's very beautiful. Thanks. Bye-bye. Okay, well, Mother, what do we owe this visit? I had an idea that I wanted to bounce off of you. I'm listening. Well, I'm delighted to hear that, darling. It's the fundraiser for the children's hospital. Oh, yeah, what this time? What do you think about a fashion show with all of the top California designers presenting their holiday collections? In one show? Yes, premiering their Christmas collections. What do you think? Well, you know how hot fashion-wise California is these days, especially L.A.? Yes, darling, I am aware of that. <laughs> I mean, just visit New York. The village is looking more and more like Melrose. Even Park Avenue is going to L.A. California's everywhere, even Paris. You think it'd be too trendy? Mother, we set the fashions. 
We set the trends. No, it's a hell of an idea. Is it yours? No. Who's that? An all California showing. That's a hell of a thought. And you can't possibly imagine who came up with the idea. Try me. Sally Spectra. It's her idea? Completely. She came to me and talked to me and thought it might be a good idea as a fundraiser. What are you going to do? I don't know. Well, Mother, it could uh, make a lot of money for the hospital, you know. Yes, it could, if it's correctly handled. On the other hand, if Miss Spectro thinks of placing herself in charge, we might end up with a five-ring circus. Hmm. I don't envy you. Well, I can see that you've got to get back to work. It's the name of the game these days. Putting a lot of hours in, aren't you? I'm still behind in all my work. Well, I hope you're saving enough time in your life for other things. Yes, I am. Good. How's Brooke? Understanding. Helpful. Beautiful. Sexy. Appreciate it. Mind if I give you a personal opinion? Yes, but I'm sure you will anyway. Of course I will. You're taking her for granted. That's the way you lose someone. Unless, of course, that's what you want to do. See you home for dinner today? Eric said you wanted to talk to me about something. Yes, I do. Have you seen Kristen lately? Not as much as I'd like to. Neither have I, and I work in the same building with her. What's your point, honey? I'm worried about her mother. Something's going on in her life. I can feel it. You're worried about Kristen? Yes. Why? Has she said something to you? That's the problem. I rarely see her. Oh, honey. She's busy. She's got an active life. She's married. She works. She does her design. Mother, she's always found time to stop in here. Besides, there's something more. What? She's just not herself. At least, I don't think so. Well, maybe she needs a vacation. Is she in the office? I'll go down and talk to her. That's another thing. Look what time it is. She's not at work yet. Neither is Clark, for that matter. Well, let's hope that they're home and still honeymooning. I doubt it. Why do you say that? Because if you ask me, that is the problem. You're telling me that you think this marriage is in trouble? 